the dance. As you close your physical eyes, begin to surrender your body fully to gravity. Relax your breathing. Release all the tension from your forehead and from between your brows. Loosen your jaw and tongue. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Your chest and core are soft. Hips are grounded and open. Your arms and legs are heavy and completely at ease. Take a moment to clear your mind, arriving at darkness. Now, as you open your mind's eye, you find yourself on a large circular stage in a giant amphitheater. The theater is full and the audience wraps completely around the stage. The rows of seating go up so high that you have to crane your neck to see the top. You aren't afraid because you aren't alone. There are many others on the stage with you. You are in the midst of a dance together. This dance is ancient. It is called Music of Life. This dance was created to tell the story of how the cosmos came to be through the initial explosion of energy, through movement and form, leaps and twirls. At first, the dance is chaotic with no sense of unity. As it progresses, however, your movements with the other dancers become more harmonious, more synchronized. Everyone begins to pair up, and you connect with one of the other dancers. With both hands held above your shoulders, your fingers intertwine with theirs. Your chests are almost touching, and then you begin to spin together, round and round. As you spin, you also revolve around the center of the stage, in sync with the other pairs. Centrifugal force begins to pull you apart from your partner until both arms are extended to their maximum and in unison, you break away from each other, twirling and connecting with a slightly larger group. This pattern continues until all the dancers, save for the one in the center, are linked. You and the other dancers begin to feel pulled heavily towards the center of the stage and your circle begins to tighten inwards. You look towards the direction of the pole, and you see her there standing, peaceful and still. The Oru is orchestrating this entire dance, and then she opens her eyes and smiles at you knowingly. Suddenly, you're no longer on that stage. She folded you instantly through space and time. Your hand reaches towards your chest and wraps around the prism dangling from a necklace you are wearing. You know the Oru will call you back through this prism when you're due. Completely relaxed, you find yourself standing at the edge of a wide meadow in a forest. The wind feels fresh against your bare skin and the wildflowers in the meadow are so vivid. They look familiar, but also alien. Softening your gaze, you begin to draw in a slow and deep inhalation through your nostrils, filling from the bottom of your diaphragm to the top of your collarbones. The meadow smells lovely, and you release your breath through your open mouth. (sighs) You look up through the meadow's clearing. The sky is a clear cerulean blue, and you notice that you're not even on the same planet anymore. There are two planets in the sky, each with their own team of moons. It's a very busy and beautiful sky. You hear a spring nearby and begin to walk towards the water. It's a shallow spring, and the sound of the water gently flowing over and between the rock beds soothes you deeply. The spring leads to a pond, and you walk along beside it, following it there. You're beside the pond now. The water is much stiller here, and you crouch down to your hands and knees and peer over the edge. You see yourself, but you're not alone in there. As far as you can see in either direction, it's everyone. Everyone who you've ever loved or cared for, they're all there with you. Even though they're not there physically, you feel them. You feel their love. The Oru gave you this precious gift. Deep gratitude and peace wash over you, and you know you are safe and so loved. Slowly, 
Begin to tune into your physical body, safe, at home. Draw a little more awareness to your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to roll out your wrists and your ankles. On your next inhalation, extend your arms up overhead, maybe hooking a wrist. Take a full body stretch like you're just waking up. Alternate between flexing the heels and pointing the toes. On your next exhalation, curl into a ball, give yourself a little hug, and rock side to side if that feels good. Slowly drop to whichever side is calling to you. Using your arm as a cushion, bring your knees in as close as feels good, flexing the back side open. Take several deep and even mindful breaths right here. And from here, it's your choice. You can stay down, relaxed, or make your way up to an easy seated position. Thank you for your time and participation. Peace and love.